Here is another powerful advantage to the Pico software. Up under the automotive menu, they have some presets for several different tests that you can produce, such as if you want to use a pressure transducer and you're using the WPS 500X and you would like to perform an in cylinder pressure test and you're going to do it while it's running. Two advantages to this is one, it's going to pop up with information about the test you're performing. It's going to show you how to perform the test. It's going to give you a picture of how to set it up and how to connect everything. It gives you an example of the waveform that you're going to see. Some additional notes, and in this case, it even provides you with some reference waveforms from two different cars. Here's one from a Volvo, and here's one from a Vauxhall. Additionally, when you come back to your PicoScope, it has set it up to the proper settings. In other words, it has chose 500 kilosamples per screen or per buffer. It has set you up for 50 milliseconds per division, and it has set your pressure transducer to minus 25 and positive 100 psi. Let's take a look at another sensor. If we come down to sensor, and maybe we want to do something like a speed sensor. There's speed sensors that are in your wheels, they're in your transmission, they're on your crankshaft. There's all kinds of them. Now, they do have a specific one for crankshaft and another one for camshaft. But if we come down and do a speed sensor or road speed, and we have to know if it's a hall effect or not. In this case, I'll just simply choose a hall effect. And once again, it will give you information on how to connect your oscilloscope, what kind of pattern you should be looking for, and any additional technical information. And it has set our scope up at 500 kilosamples per screen or per buffer, 10 milliseconds per division, and we're now at a plus or minus 20 volts. It has also done something additional with your axis scaling. It has given you an axis scaling of 2 and an offset of minus 20%.